Well, hello, my dear friend. So you like this sari number sixteen? Let's go through it. I hope I don't sound too cheesy because I have been literally talking to myself for quite some time. And uh, but I would really like to uh, congratulate you on choosing this sari because this is, I think. uh one of the best sarees of all the sarees that i have shown you okay let's open it and this also is quite a heavy saree so it has uh this borders on both the sides and uh these motifs and uh, it's a really delicate but very good embroidery which i can assure you the workmanship uh, as uh, and i would like also to point out that uh, some of the places the threads have uh, come off the beads have come off in some places which are to be expected from old clothings and it has this uh, zardozi uh i think i have explained what is zardozi in uh, my last video of uh, vintage sarees zardozi is a metal strip um which is uh, rolled like a spring and then cut into uh, small pieces and then uh used as beads uh like you can see over here uh that this is a seed bead in the center and the zardozi is embroidered around it and it's all hand done i mean literally hand done with a needle and thread as uh, this embroidery that you see the chain stitching that is all khat bharat where the sari is tied on long wooden frames sometimes the frames are as long as the sarees and then uh, they are embroidered as, with like a crochet type hook needle and they are chain stitched so but the beads and the zardozi that you see are all hand sewn with a needle and thread and as in all the sarees the top the top part of the sari is embroidered half way because the rest of the sari is supposed to be tucked in the skirts that are also called the petticoats so the top part is tucked in the uh, skirts of the sari but the lower half of all the sarees are embroidered so this is the lower lower part of the sari and it has these small uh, motifs and they are like flowers and leaves i hope you can see them so this is the bottom part and you will see that the bottom part has discolored because of the metal of the embroidery the metal of the thread because of that the lower part has discolored in some places so we come to the end of the sari so this is a really beautiful like the other pink sari which i showed so it's the same embroidery and uh, i think it must have cost cost quite a lot but i'm really sure this lady really enjoyed wearing this sari it's really beautiful so this was our sari number 16 and see you in the next video bye bye